Hi guys, um, Flo here, the consulist. In today's video, I'm going to take a look at this Super Nintendo. It's the PAL version. So this belonged to my brother. Um, he doesn't have any use for it anymore. And the problem with this is, as he told me, is this the uh, reset button is not working. You see, you can't even press it in. I have here another Super Nintendo and you see normally it should press in like this. So yeah guys, without any more waffle, let's get started. So I don't know if there are other problems with this. So I will test it first and then I try to fix the reset button or if it's not fixable. I here have a donor board from one I couldn't fix. And this reset button is working. And if I'm not able to fix the original one, I'm going to change the buttons over. So, I connected everything here to this little monitor. I will um, test it with a game. So let's put it in. So let's see if it's working. Power on. And yes, it's working. Okay, now I disconnect everything and then I take a look inside. So yeah, I took off the top and first indication is here. This is completely glued with hot glue. And here you see The reset button is completely destroyed and there is hot glue in there also, so yeah. It should look like this. Okay, I have to swap the reset button because yeah, there is no chance, because there are parts missing, there is no chance I can fix this. So yeah. So the problem here is the broken reset button. Yeah, I'm not trying to fix this because yeah, it's unfixable. Because there's a part missing, so I I just take the um, reset button from my donor board here and I swap this over. So this shouldn't be too hard because yeah, as you can see, there are only um, four solo points here. And yeah, I take my desoldering iron and uh, the solder pump and the solder this and then the one from the donor board and swap and just swap it over you could could do it with hot air but i don't want to set up my hot air station so i think that's the quickest way i'm going with that and yeah i set up my soldering iron and 
then I show you the process. So now, I desolder this now. That's the broken one. I add a little fresh solder. This is leaded solder. Then I use my desoldering pump. So yeah, look, this went pretty good. And now I use the braid, the soldering braid here, to get rid of all the rest. So very easy. If you remove all the solar, then it should come out pretty easy, and it does. So this is the broken one. So this should come out. And this should come out now. And it does. So, thank you donor board. And now I have the reset button here and I'm going to solder it in but first I clean around this area and then we should be good to go for this I use a little bit of IPA and cotton buds Let's clean now. Here is my. Here is the new um, reset button. So now we put the new reset button in. Now we just solder it. I first solder one pin and then I press it down. Yeah, that's nice and flat. Then I clean it up again. A little bit of IPA.
so that's nice and clean. Let's check the solder points. Yeah, they look good. Let's check if it's still working, and it is. So, the only thing left is to put it back together and test it. But I'm pretty confident that it's working. So I put it back together, connect it up to my little um, test uh, screen, and then we should be good. The broken case is something for another video. I just want to get this working because that's it's pretty bad. And I sh maybe I can find a replacement um, replacement shell for this. Yeah, so I put it back together and then I show you if it's working or not. So now this is all back together. The only thing left is to get rid of, let me zoom in a little, to get rid of this hot glue mess. So I will soak this in IPA. And this will help um, dissolve the hot glue around here and uh, it's easier to take it off. So let's see how that works. So I really flood this. And then... This should... come off and it does so I got rid of all the hot glue and this should go in now So guys, everything is back together, I connected everything up, here is the little LCD for testing, so and now let's see, it's working, that we know, and indeed it does. So now the question, does the reset button work? So let's test it. And it does. So guys. This thankfully was an easy fix, a fix you can do yourself. So, and if you don't have an um, exact replacement thing, you can order one of those. These come in sets in different sizes, so just little clicky buttons and use one of these. So that's no problem. Yeah guys, so <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope there's something useful for you in it. I was very glad that this was an easy fix for a change. Yeah, I have a free few um, very interesting projects coming up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you like it, give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing if you haven't already. So again, guys, thanks very much for watching this video and I see you in the next one. Bye.